So I'm at lunch today. Someone sends me, Andrew sent me a uh, message on Twitter that said Mario posted on Facebook that he's in a homeless shelter. And I thought, my goodness gracious, that's just terrible. Send me a screenshot and everything, which you'll see it. And then some other things were shared. And, you know, I, I'm starting with this because if I start with him being in a homeless shelter, people are going to get all sappy. Because that's what he wants. So, we're going to start with this one. So, in my 2014 Black Infinity Q50. Um, you know how much these things go for? When you look this up, it's anywhere from 37 to 48 grand. 38, 37, sorry, 37 to 48 grand. Yesterday I sold my luxury sports car. Now I'm not saying you all need to sell all your possessions, but for me, God was asking me to. With the revenue from ads on YouTube, I was able to purchase a sports car. But the reason I got it in the first place was because of pride. I wanted a nice, expensive car. Now, we've talked about this before. Mario going on these vacations. And saying, oh, well, it's nothing. It's all nothing. It's worldly. Well, what he's doing is he's throwing his money around and bragging about it. Now, it's interesting to note this right here. Jesus said, go and sell all your possessions. And I replied, okay, Lord, done. All right? Notice what he's saying. I'm not saying you all need to sell all your possessions. Well, it don't matter what scripture. When you search, Jesus, sell your possessions. There's one thing Mario's leaving out. And part of what, that this part, give to the poor. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Three different areas, three different verses, at least. Um, probably, yeah go further and see where this is a commandment that Jesus gives. Give to the poor. Mario is stopping just short of that. I sold my 37, let's just, just go right in the middle, my $40,000 car. Just probably made, let's say he sold it for thirty. Thirty thousand dollar profit like that. But he's going to come out and he's going to tell you that he's living in a homeless shelter. And this was posted now three days ago. And it's the season God has in countered me the most to come into rehab and commit myself full time to treatment I've had to give up my apartment so now I'm at a shelter where the treatment is given and never have I experienced God more than now Being, uh, by bringing me down to nothing even though he just made a profit of selling his sports car his $40,000 sports car I've been stripped of my pride on so many levels. God had to bring me to ruin to truly get my heart. I've never felt God as close and working so hard on me as I do in this season. Praise the Lord. Out here I've seen the sign of the broken world and it's humbled and broken my heart. God is here in the most dark places. He was and is still with the worst of sinners. 
trying to reach them. Them. Not him. Not us. Them. Through our healing, they will see, they will see him. Not only we will see him. They will see him. So let's go in Jesus' name. First of all, which is it? Homeless shelters aren't really rehab centers. They're dirty, bed bug infested places so you can have warmth for the code for a night or two or however long you need. And if this man, think about how disgusting this is. If he truly is in a homeless shelter, and he just sold a $40,000 sports car for at least $30,000, $30,000, are you kidding me? And all these people were around there, starving. Cold. And you sitting on 30 grand trying to claim like you're homeless. You, I'm just baffled. I'm just baffled. Now, if you're at the rehab center, that's fine. That's one thing. But to claim homelessness? No, I'm not buying that. And you shouldn't either. And, and, and a lot of people are going to see that and say, how heartless can you be? How heartless can you be? Oh, this guy's a demon. You have to be ridiculing everything this man says. This man is so arrogant, so prideful. He's a douchebag. And he's a demon. And clearly, he hasn't humbled himself. It breaks my heart. It really does. To see someone struggle like this. Never would I try to mock anyone for being homeless. But I don't think this guy's in a place to call himself homeless. He's better. He's better off. More well off than most homeless people. I, this is insulting. Just he's still insulting people, and um, it goes on further. Ha, 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 not today, Satan, not today. Well, I'm walking downtown and look at what I stumbled across. I half joined a marijuana just sitting there on the sidewalk. Marijuana is my drug of choice. You think it's a coincidence? Nope. Expect that when you try and follow God and do what's right, the devil will be right there with a trap. So this dude just happened to see this joint in the sidewalk. Are you kidding me? And we don't think he don't put that there to make it seem like he's better than he is. Like he's not playing his audience. You can't trust a word this man says. I don't think he's in rehab. It gets worse. Alright? Now he says, also, um... Got a job lined up at a flower shop as a delivery guy. I'll be doing other things at the shop. The second half of the program revolves around reintegration into normal life, and they recommend you get a part-time job. So thank you, Michael, for this opportunity and support. Now, don't freak out. 
I'll still work YouTube. Oh, wonderful. And on here, just part-time. Being a full-time content creator is too stressful. So I'm going to balance it with this job. If anyone is in Ottawa and wants some beautiful flowers, let me or Michael know. We got you. Again, you can't trust that. I'm not doing the one eye thing because this is a screenshot. It was just captured. I'm sure the full image is there. And I don't feel like going on Facebook and fighting that website. But look at this. Everything this man does. You know, the Mario. It's a, it's a play on the Super Mario Brothers. I mean, really? Now he's going to be regenerated. Which we talk about the rebirth through fire. The Masonic rebirth through fire. The flower gives you fire in this in this game. This guy is so far gone. I mean, we I, I just I, I don't even believe that this guy works here. I don't believe it for a second because I don't believe a word that comes out of this guy's mouth. Out of his fingers. If he does, great. He's working with his hands. I just think it's a little too coincidental. Um, so this is where it gets stupid. And this is why I don't think he's actually in rehab. You need your brothers in Christ. Is an important lesson I learned on this five hour bike ride. I took with two other brothers in recovery. I'm not really strong in my cardio, and especially back then even less. At one point up the mountain, Matt, a brother who's five years plus recovered from being one of the worst sinners in attic, had to come up beside me and push me up by placing a hand on my back and taking on an extra burden to push me up when I couldn't. They even would cheer me on and I just went way past what I thought I was capable, capable of. The brothers encouraged me up the hill, gave me strength. God spoke to me after about how he works in that way. Oh boy. He sends the brothers to work them, uh, through them, so together we are stronger. I'm recovery. I'm meeting warriors to stand with and walk together. This sounds like a hippie combo. He's finding weed on the sidewalk. And going out in nature, doing these five-mile bike rides, and claiming he's in a homeless shelter? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? What homeless shelter do you know where people are going on five-mile bike rides just for fun. Maybe to work. Maybe to a job. But just for the hell of it? Are you kidding me? Just to see the beautiful scenery. This has croc written all over it. This guy is not in re I don't think this guy's in rehab. I do not think this guy's in rehab. And he's still, he's still, well, if anyone in Ontario area is looking to purchase a home or sell one, contact my friend Eric Banville, who can help you as a mortgage specialist and realtor. Do you remember who Eric is? Eric's the one who's Mar who Mario had pictures of his ding dong on. Shared pictures of this man's ding dong was trying to suck this man's ding-dong with another girl. And is telling you, this guy, a mortgage specialist, meaning this guy, and Mario, are tied to the Federal Reserve. 
21777. Mario had this guest ding dong on his phone and was sharing it. He's trying to get you sucked in, letting your guard down. What a joke. What a joke. What a joke. He is in a hippie convine. That's what he is. They're out here getting high, doing their pagan rituals, playing their stupid songs. He's probably in a Volkswagen van as we speak. What a joke. And he's going to say he's in a homeless shelter. Unreal. There's no way. No way. Just sold a $30,000 car. Going on bike rides. For the hell of it. Mm, he's playing his audience. Playing on the Christians. How sad. This man is truly not repentant. Truly is not surrendered to Jesus Christ. He still doesn't get it. Still does not get it. I had my hopes. And I was wrong. He just still won't get it. He just doesn't get it, and most likely he won't get it. You better repent, Mario. Hell is in your future. And all you people that are still buying into Mario's deception, you better wake up and turn to Christ. Or hell's in your future, too.